Digital transformation, um, to me as a head of learning, lead volunteer at Girl Guiding, is, is hot topic for us. We're really looking into what digital transformation means, um, how it affects our girl members, how it affects our volunteer, adult volunteers. Um, ultimately, we need to be able to provide girl guiding to those volunteers in terms of learning in a way that suits them, gives them confidence and enables them to deliver great unit meetings for our girl members. So we're currently first in the queue of digital transformation at Girl Guiding to see what we can provide. Um, we've just had a consultation weekend with our trainer cohort. Um, and it's really important to us that we consult with everybody. We're really good at consulting with our girl members. We've just had um, a big consultation which has resulted in Future Girl and they've told us what they want girl guiding to be in the future. We need to make sure from a learning perspective that our volunteer members can deliver on that. So it's a massive project um, and we're really passionate about getting it right. We're looking at a process at the moment for digital transformation and it's it's following a bit of a, a sort of design thinking, service design approach. So we really understand our, um, our volunteer members, sorry, volunteer leaders and what they need. Um, and we've done a scoping phase to identify kind of what's in and what's out with digital transformation. And that's been important because digital transformation is huge. It's a, it's a big topic and you know you can't eat all the elephant at once, so how are we going to break that down? Um, so the scoping phase has identified what is it that we're really trying to make um, and we've now moved into a, a sort of a development phase, a designing phase and we're just at that start of the journey. Ultimately, what's apparent with digital transformation is it's about the people. It's not about the solutions, it's not about the technology. They are very much at the end and we're really trying to get to know what it is that our people need. And I think that's a really important distinction. People can rush out and buy technology without thinking about who's using it. And so you need to sort of that element of user, supplier, designer, um, all needs to work together. The challenges that we're facing at Girl Guiding, um, apart from you know, are we spending the money in the right places, is we've got two sort of main cohorts of people. I guess one of those cohorts is our volunteer members, so really understanding them. And there's just so many of them, 109,000 people, ranging from, you know, age 14 um, as, as uh, young leaders, right up to in the 80s, you know, people have been with our organisation for 30, 40, 50 years. So trying to make sure that the digital transformation um, is appropriate for all of our members, that's one of the challenges. But another challenge is making sure that um, there are stakeholders who are engaged in the process are actually um, consulted and with us on the journey. One of our main cohorts is all of our trainers. We have 638 trainers and you know I want them to feel valued and part of the story. So consultation has been a challenge, making sure that we can get out to the right cohorts of people and get their voices back in. And I'm genuinely, genuinely interested in this not being my team of uh, learning and development team of 14 people, but actually as many of those volunteer voices. And when you translate that into a corporate space, L&D perhaps sits in a corner um, or sits with HR or sits close to the C-suite, but actually it's the users ultimately that need to be part of the, the transformation journey. And how are they gonna um, interact with the digital? How are they going to access the learning? And ultimately, why do they care? And if we don't know why they care, if we don't know how they're gonna do this, then we've missed a huge part of the story. Having a process um, has worked really well for us. Um, we're sort of taking a service design, design thinking approach. Um, we started out with a scoping phase, what's in and what's not in, because everything could be in. Um, Ultimately, what we've identified, uh, and I think this is true for all digital transformation in all organisations, is it's about the people. It's not about um, the solutions. 
And sometimes if you skip to the solutioneering, um, we, you know, you'll get it wrong because anyone can buy a platform, but we need to know it's the right platform, it's gonna land well, it's fulfilling the need that you have, it's going to provide the impact and the outcomes that you need um, rather than just the output that you, you might be looking for. So um, that's really important part of having a process has been really successful for us. The key takeaways without a shadow of the doubt are the stakeholder engagement conversations. Um, we need to make sure that we have had everyone's voice into that. It means that they're coming with us on the journey. Digital transformation, when it's done unto people, will never be successful. But digital transformation that's done with people, um, you know, so far so good for us. We're, we're getting good traction. And that's a really important part for me personally, that I don't want anyone to feel that this is just something that's landed upon them as a change. You know, I guess when I talk about in my professional life, when we do learning transformation, um, you know, people don't notice change. It's a subtle thing and we're changing all of the time. But when something sudden lands, people feel like it's done unto them. You know, we're glad that we, I don't know, don't ride around on horses and live by candlelight. We're glad we've got electricity in cars. But, at, you know, when Henry Ford asked people, what do they want? The worry was faster horses. And so for me, the stakeholder piece is so, so, so important. It's about people, not about solutions. <laughs>